All right, Vic, big win. Uh, you beat a higher ranked guy today, and that's always uh, something that, that's good going into tournament time. Mm -hmm. But first off, you as Jack this Honeycut. Honeycut's over your shoulder, and that. I you like to Jack. think so. You like to think so. I mean, I've been told. I've been told. I'm. Um, I've definitely been told. I'm. Um, I feel big. I've been told. I'm um, look the biggest. Maybe Max uh, Thomas. I. I think we're probably the two biggest dudes at for this year. Um, I feel like I'm the biggest, uh, or at least size wise, big as big as Max, and uh, I think we dominate the size of the 84s this year. So. I feel big. He is jacked, though, but, I mean, I feel pretty jacked, too, so I guess... Uh, you get that tanning bed a little bit more, you could get the edge on. Yeah, get the, he... get the shadow coming out. Yeah, a little bit better off the light. That's what it's about. All right, today, uh, big win over courts, though, but this is the thing I was telling Vlin earlier. Your scrambles that you won there. First off, you almost had a reversal when you're on the bottom there. You don't get that one. He hangs on. He must be really strong because you had him in a horrible spot. He hangs on, gets the stalemate. You win two more scrambles, though. That one where he is trying to come off, and you kind of break him on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Where does that scrambling come from? You don't look like you're not. I haven't seen you scramble the whole time. you got great counter offense, but yeah. that scramble, what that That's do? That's funny. Um, it's funny you bring that up. Uh, I actually believe I'm the best scrambler at 84. I can scramble a lot, but the thing is, is, Everybody knows, you know, my hips are is my gift, and uh, I can sprawl go behind a shot very well. So it's it's just a thing of when you're in that defensive mode a lot, which I've been trying to break, you kind of, they shoot in and I sprawl go behind a shot. Um, when you're offensive, sometimes you give up your legs, you know, and uh, when you're really looking for offense, and I felt tonight I was really pushing for offense. I didn't get any attacks off, but I was really looking, really hitting my fingers interlocked. I was trying to get them off, trying to push forward. I felt like he backed up a lot. and uh, But, yeah, I can scramble a lot. Um, a lot of it is I sucked when I was younger, so I just got pummeled all the time. And then slowly but surely, each position, you learn how to survive the position. And that's kind of how it was. Like, I'd learn how to survive that position. And then after, like, years of that, like, I got good at scrambling. I came here, and then the whole uh, my whole freshman year, Honeycutt, everybody knows Honeycutt can scramble. We used to just go from one end of the room to the other in one scramble. So I can scramble, um, but I, I prefer to sprawl. But um, uh, I don't mind scrambling, so it's fun because I usually win them. So, but yeah. Third period, you go to the coaches. I want to go neutral. I want to let him go. You put an absolute ride on him. Like, you put the clamps down on him, and that breaks him in the third period. Uh Coach is making you do that. What, what, what is that now that you think about that and your decision? They told you to do something different. You did what they told you to do. Worked out. What do you get out of the coaches from that? Well, he was he was pissed. <laughs> I said, let's go neutral. I felt him wilting. You know, you can feel when a guy's wilting. I had uh, the whole first period was just me on his head, and uh, I think it was starting to get to him a little bit. And then, uh, you know, that shot, he dove in. I just went behind real easy. I think that kind of broke him a little bit. And then I felt like, okay, I've been riding him for – like a minute, I think I can uh, get another takedown, but Flynn likes to have me ride. He, he, I mean, I've had the, the losses I've had this year have been heartbreakers to the best guys, and I, you know, the truth be told, the, the riding at nationals will will probably be the factor. If I can get that riding point, I win those matches. So, uh, and I can ride. Um, I was hurt all last year with my knees and ankles, so I kind of get flashbacks out there of like like getting like frozen up of of throwing legs in or riding or you know I can I can. Um, Follow the guy real, real well. Yeah, I float saw real that. Well. I, I can, saw that. Yeah, that was nice. I can float real well, um, but you know, sometimes I get those flashbacks. And uh, but I've, I, in the room, I've been riding real tough, even getting some turns. Um, and uh, so Flynn's been on me all year about it, actually. So I'm, I'm glad I did it. You know, I ended up being like two and a half minutes because he had over a minute, and then I had to with over a minute. So getting a seated, getting a high seat at the national tournament, does that matter anything to you? No, not at all. I mean, King won it with 12 seed. You know what I mean? Who cares? But uh, especially in my weight, everybody knows 84 is, is a crapshoot. You know what I mean? You bet on one guy, you ain't winning. So it's like um, my weight is so up and down, and I believe I'm the most underrated guy at 84. Um, and uh, so I, I could care if I'm on, I care less if I'm unseated. I was unseated last year and beat Lofthouse. Everybody had him predicted to be in the finals. So uh, it doesn't matter to me. But uh, I, something will end up happening. I'll either be unseated or like the 16th seed. That's just kind of how my career goes. I think you're I'm 17th right now. I saw one pull. Yeah, well, Flow Wrestling's pull. Um, that's are you the, the lowest? Is that where they have the lowest? That's Flow's always had me the lowest. Uh, I get no love from Christian Piles, but it is what it is. And uh, maybe he doesn't respect the tan and the jackness. It, it could not. I think he's just real high on Gabe Dean, who uh, is a good wrestler. But I'm three and one against, and his one win is you're overtime. Th you're three and one against Dave. I did yeah, not know that. Check facts, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> 
three and one, and his one win is an OT this year against me. And uh, you know, they were when he was younger. We were both redshirting, but then this year we face off after he's you know Gabe Dean, and he he, he wins an OT. And uh, I definitely believe, it was off of a bad shot. You know, I, I actually pushed the offense in overtime. So, uh, but um, he's a good counter offender, and I, I believe that all the eighty fours just do that this year. They just look for counter offense. So I think if you're the guy pushing action and not making stupid mistakes, you can I can open it up on these guys. All right, you got anything else for me? Go Gym better. 10, laundry or anything? What are you going to do? No, I'm going to go eat and uh, spend time with my family and uh, then probably come in and work out tomorrow. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck. Good luck at Ryder DWLs and see you in yep. St. Louis. Yep, sounds good.